In this video I'm talking about how to prevent yourself to become heartbroken at the end of a relationship. The solution is not dissociation, closing down your feelings, denying what happened, but changing your mindset. So usually when we broke up, especially when we are on the losing side and the other person doesn't want to continue the relationship, we feel very, very, we feel very, very bad and this is very natural. But natural doesn't necessarily mean that it's very good for you because you can suffer. And if you understand what is the cause of your suffering at the end of a relationship, then maybe you can do something. It's about the mind. It's a mind game. So, <clears throat> give freedom to the other person not to choose you. That is very important because if you think that, hey, I deserve this person, I did a lot of things for her or him, and then he, he doesn't want me anymore or wants somebody else instead of me, if you have this resentment, if you think that you are entitled for another person's affection, and time and attention, then you will suffer. Don't think that you are entitled. Yeah, it's true, maybe you did everything, you put your heart into the relationship, you did a lot of things for the other person, but at the end, maybe this person thinks that it's not you that they want, or they just don't want you, or want another person. Accept reality and be fine with this. Give up the control that other people should behave in a certain way, at least in the big picture. So of course you can have expectation if somebody promised something and they don't keep, yeah you can be angry and then you can choose what to do. But in the big picture whether somebody chooses you or not, give up the control and be fine whatever the other person chooses and accept that in their opinion this relationship is not good or maybe they think that you are not good and accept this. It doesn't mean that you are not good because there is no good and bad in the world. It means that this person doesn't want you. So accept he or she has the right to not to want you okay so don't be a control freak in your mind let it go accept that other people for whatever reason you don't like you and then what is the next step of course you have to uh, think about what happened and maybe you can improve yourself or you can understand your selection strategy maybe you wanted something, the person accepted you first or just used you, exploited you and then you had a wrong selection criteria or you were not good for this person's requirements. So it is about you or the relationship, it is both. If you have a lot of problem, a lot of people break up with you or don't even want you, then probably you should improve yourself. But if you usually accepted by people, they like you, then just accept more that, okay, this person didn't want this relationship, doesn't work. Now, of course, when you are heartbroken, you are in an emotional state. So this kind of logical talking that I'm doing now at this moment will not work at that moment. So this is much more for a prevention. It's kind of thinking, or let's say, Two years later when you were broke up, if you practice this kind of thinking during the time, then you can handle that breakup much better in two, five, ten years later. So when you are in an emotional state, this talk will not help you, maybe you become angry, oh you don't understand me, yes. That's why if you set up in any relationship, you go in with full energy and emotion, do your best and it doesn't mean that it will be a successful relationship because there is another person, that person have 
different needs and requirements and maybe you cannot satisfy this it doesn't necessarily mean that there is anything problem with you it means that this person and you don't match and the matching is very very low maybe five ten percent that there are people that you can really match in very long term and even then people change and maybe you are a great match with, great match with somebody now but what about ten five years later when both of you change the environment change the situation change and maybe the relation will not survive so have this attitude that things change uh, you don't have to control other people and if you really like somebody not just control if you like the person you understand that this person want to feel happy want a great relationship and be happy for them even if they choose another person and not you this is what love is if you let the other person to choose and if for you if other person's happiness is more important than forcing them to have a relationship with you then when they break up you will be happy for them that they realize that they are not happy in this relationship and they have a new opportunity to try with somebody else if you can really be happy for a person that they have a chance to become happy and not with you then you will not really suffer because you feel happy okay this person is really happy without me I'm happy for them and I understand that we don't match yes I want this person very much but I accept reality